So first, let's look at an example, which is an app to help solve for our field operations problem. So there are two sides to this example. One screen helps inspectors create inspections just with audio notes. And another screen helps the maintenance team digitize their existing paper process. Let's start with the inspection side of things. If I click this button here, it opens up a form which just has a simple audio recorder component on it. Now, I'm going to pretend I'm an inspector. I'm going to switch to Liam Anderson. And I'm going to say something pretty generic here just to sort of fit with this example here. I've completed an inspection at Canyon Ridge facility on inverter S1320. There's a slight overheating issue, likely due to airflow restrictions. No critical alarms, but it needs monitoring. So once this is recorded, we can just hit submit and we'll see this processing screen. Our AI workflow runs in the background and we can get a screen full of structured data that an admin can quickly glance at and then make a decision from. So let's take a look at how this works. If we open up the data tab, we can see that the audio got uploaded to this column here. And then Glide AI Actions, which you don't see right now, populated all these columns with the data that we needed. This was all done by one workflow triggered on the form submission. So here's the workflow for this. The first two actions show the detail screen and set the processing value in our table to true. This processing value makes only the processing image component visible while the AI actions are processing the data. Basically, it's hiding all of those components that will eventually show the data until that data is ready. So after this, we have our main AI sequence. The audio to text transcribes the audio into the AI transcription column. This is basically our raw input, and it contains everything that our inspector said. All of the AI actions below this use this column as their input, but we have different instructions in each. For example, this one asks for a summary. This one asks what equipment or machinery is used. And this one gets the location. We're also then using a text to choice action here to really control the output for the incident type. Finally, we have a wait action to allow time for the final action to complete. And then we set the processing value to false, which hides the processing image and shows all of our components. So that's the inspection screen. Let's have a look now at the maintenance side of stuff. Once an inspection has been made, we have these two buttons. The first allows us to mark it as needing maintenance, and the other to mark as no action needed. If we click Maintenance Required, this creates a new record in the maintenance table relating to that inspection. So in this made-up example or scenario, the maintenance team has an entire paper-based process which they use to document their work that they're not going to change anytime soon. And if you build software for businesses or you work in a business that's been established for a long time, you'll find this. That there are often paper processes that are not quite ready to be updated, but you can still integrate those systems into your app by leveraging AI to digitize the paper outputs from those other systems. When the maintenance team are done, they can just snap a picture of their paper form, which will then digitize it to our table. So let's see how this works. The on submit action takes the text from the image that's uploaded using the image to text action. We then get the information we need from it with the generate text action. The first action retrieves the things that were done in the report. The second action identifies the tools and parts that were used. The third action notes the equipment conditions. And the final action records the due date. So that's the field operations example. With a simple interaction with audio or a file upload, we get two tables with highly structured data joining two teams together who are out in the field. We've leveraged AI to do what it does best, transform unstructured data into structured data.